Hi everyone, so today we're going to be checking out how we're going to add a text field in a um, alert box. So this is a continuation of the first part where I created a little app here where, um, let me actually go ahead and launch the app to show you. So if I bring this over, I launch an app, uh, I, I, I press this button, launches an alert box that says some title, some message, yes and no, no, does nothing, the handler is nil. If I press yes, it prints out this message that says I'm doing something pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and hit the like button. Great. So now I'm going to show you how to add a um, alert box, uh, 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 um, sorry, a text field uh, as part of your alert box. So to do that, it's just another add action. So we're going to type in alert. And of course, it has to be inside the function. So alert dot add action except instead of add actions we're gonna do add text field okay and so it says confer, uh, configuration handler and this right here as i've said earlier is a closure so it's two curly braces so i'm just gonna hit return so that's cleaner and in here i'm gonna add a text field so in the text field what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say text field um, in text field dot placeholder because I want to have a placeholder in the text field. Um, what is your name? Let's assume we're asking uh, for someone's name here. So just remember this curly brace is associated with this, this parenthesis is associated with this, this curly brace associated with the um, uh, function that we're putting all of this in. I'm going to space them out just so you know. So this is one alert action for okay, this is another for no. And this is to add the text field. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the app. And as you'll see here, when we hit show alert, I've got my yes and no that do exactly what they did before. Prints that text. And however, now I've got a text field where I could put a name. So if I type in my name for the sake of logic and I press either OK or no, it doesn't really do anything with that name. So the next step is I'm going to show you how to do something with the name. So I'm going to stop this and we're going to add one more action here. I'm going to type in alert dot add action. Cool. And in here we're going to go UI alert action and open parentheses and we're going to choose this. For string, I'm going to say, I don't know, this is my name, happy. Okay. And for, um, UI alert action style dot default and in here this is the closure this is where we're going to do all the action and again it's curly brace curly brace so essentially what we're doing here is we're adding another option um, uh, just like okay and no we're adding another option that says this is my name happy question mark and if someone clicks that what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new um, variable called uh, well, of course we're going to create a variable that stores the data that the end user puts in the text field. But in order to do that, we're going to do an if let uh, statement just in case someone doesn't actually put anything in there. We don't want this to crash. So uh, if let, I'm going to call this my name. So I'm creating a brand new variable called my name. And we're saying if there is any text, put it in there. So how do you do that? Self, we have to put self because this is a closure. Alert dot text fields dot uh, text field question mark because essentially this is optional right it, it could very well be that someone doesn't put any text in the text field so we want to be safe here dot first you just got to put that and the text property in that text field we open another curly brace and we're saying if this happens if there is truly some text in this text field then save that text in this variable called my name and now in here, you could do whatever you want with that variable, my name, assign it to another variable or print it out or do whatever you want with it. Um, I could have another variable here that can take in a string and I could assign the proper uh, the value of my name to another variable, but I'm just going to print it out here. I'm going to say print um, and I'm going to print out uh, the name entered is um, colon and I'm going to use string interpolation I'm just gonna put my name here and if I run this app now it says there's an error 
of course of course there's an error because we gotta do uh, this is a closure so we so watch if I uh, go back to where I showed if I go back to calling do something that function I had to put action in correct where is it right here right here I had to put action in here instead of action in what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put text field in text field of course text field is camel paste and so this is the format that we need I'm gonna relaunch this no errors that's good and now if I press show alert I've got this new option called this is my name happy just as I wrote here and if I type in for the sake of logic boom cool and if I press this button it should print out um, I should print out the name entered the name entered is and the text that I entered which is for the sake of logic all right that's pretty much it hope you've enjoyed this video and have a great day